From Syria with love, that's the message you'll find printed on the T-shirts of staff inside of Sufis right here on Queen Street West. That was before the restaurant, which is owned by a family of Syrian refugees, was forced to close earlier this week amid a sea of death threats. Now, tonight, the family does tell us they've been able to accept a very generous offer, which will help them reopen their doors. We need to just to, you know, promote love. We don't want to emphasize hate. With this small Syrian restaurant packed with media, Hussam al Sufi delivers this heartfelt message. I was expecting that I will come here, live in peace, not take sides, and just live in peace with my family. Peace has been difficult to find recently for the al Sufis. Death threats have overwhelmed them for two weeks now. The messages of visceral hate stem from an incident that took place outside of a Maxime Bernier event in Hamilton. The controversial leader of the People's Party of Canada was speaking at Mohawk College on September 29th. Hussam's son, Ala, joined massed anti-fascist protesters outside the event. Ala, believed to be the young masked man in the orange t-shirt, is one of multiple people who blocked the path of 81-year-old Dorothy Martson. As the senior leans on her walker and tries to enter the event with her husband, they're called Nazis. The polarizing video has been viewed millions of times. In the days following the incident, the Al-Sufi family made a public apology, though that did little to stem the flow of hate. I remain fear for my family, well-being and safety. Police are now investigating posts like these aimed at the Al-Sufis that include photos of bullets and guns. Kids do mistake. Our job is to correct their mistake, not to kill them for that. The Al Sufis, who moved to Canada from Syria in 2015, decided enough was enough this week, closing up shop and locking the doors. Though today they announced they've been convinced to reopen by Paramount Fine Foods owner Mohamed Faki, who is going to bring over his own managers from his chain of Middle Eastern restaurants to help run the shop until the family feels ready to return. No strings attached. I don't think businesses in Canada or Toronto should be shutting down because of hate and discrimination. As for the incident in Hamilton, Hussam al-Sufi has spoken to Dorothy Martson's son. I told him I want to I come and, and like meet his parents in person and apologize to them face to face. And I invited them even here to the restaurant. And he promised me, this wonderful man, David, that he will bring his family, his mother and father, to eat in our restaurant. I pray that this will happen. There's another positive development when it comes to the story. The family tells me they've received hundreds of letters of support from straight across the country, and they plan to post those letters on the walls inside the restaurant, which is set to open tomorrow morning.